new winter DLC from Rockstar Games and GTA Online. Go ahead, sit back and relax. We're going to dive right back into this full update of what's going on in GTA world. Keep in mind the update uh, process is very simple. You just download the new update. Right? Uh, it's 13 gigabytes on Xbox, 6 gigabytes on PlayStation. Uh, if you already downloaded the update on PlayStation in advance, because if you were playing on PlayStation, you got to download it 48, 48 hours in advance. And so this past Sunday, a uh, December the the ninth, you could start downloading it, but you couldn't play the update until December twelfth, just like the Xbox people. But we're about to dive in to see what this update is all about the new cars the new outfits everything new the new properties i will explain in this full video what you can expect on new gen gta and old gen gta but i will be filming this video right here that you see right now and on new gen gta but i will explain parts of it that will be on old gen gta for the old gen people as well but as always smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications and go ahead and follow me on all social media platforms let's dive right on in so let's go in through story mode here and we're going to dive right into an invite only that's where we're going to go So here we are in the new update. We're already in the lobby. I'm going to take my car that I have out and I'm going to drive it outside so I can get some daylight if I'm not in a building. But we're about to dive right all into this and a whole bunch more. So enjoy the ride. Alright, we're going to stick right here in the LS car meet area for right now because there are going to be some things that we're going to be going inside the LS car meet to check out. But, let's go ahead and see everything new in a new update. So, according to the article that came out two weeks ago, there is a new interactions menu layout. And this interactions menu layout is on all platforms except except for one feature. You will be able to manage your vehicles. So with that being said, hey, you can organize your vehicles by garages. So if you're on new gen GTA. I, let me repeat when you're on new gen GTA. We're not talking about PC We're not talking about the Xbox one or the PlayStation 4 
we're talking about Grand Theft Auto V expanded and enhanced on the Series X and S and the PlayStation 5, you will be able to move your cars from garage to garage via the interactions menu and the list that I'm in right now. So as you see, we went to an interactions menu, we went to manage vehicles, and we went down to vehicle organization. So you will have to definitely get used to the new interactions menu. Also keep in mind they did remove the option to take the easy way out. You can no longer take the easy way out in the game. Hey, it's nothing that you can't do anymore. Now, let's check out the new property inside the game. So we're going to go to the end game website. As you see, we got a whole new look. A whole new look and we have an I some it's a big red new dot button telling us there's something new and we are gonna look at the salvage yards only and there's five locations that you can get these okay let's break it down on far as how much they cost so there's none really over by Fort Zancudo. But if you look at the very top of the map, there's one in Polito Bay. That one's going to start out without the upgrades at one point. One, it's going to start out at one million six hundred and twenty thousand dollars we're talking about Polito now then we're gonna dive right on down into just about in the Sandy Shores area that one's gonna cost you two thousand and Thirty hundred dollars, and then we're gonna get down into the city over by the casino area. Go a little further down, it's two thousand four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Then down by the arena, it's two thousand, you sorry, two million. Six hundred thousand dollars starting price. Then just right above the arena, we are at two million five hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Those are your options for the salvage yard. Now let's check out. And of course, I'm gonna go with the most expensive one. I'm gonna go because I am on a modern account. Now. And I'm going to go with the most expensive one. Why not? I'm going to go big or go home. Go big or go home. If you can afford it. And you think it's worth it. Buy the most expensive one. So we're going to choose our color that we want. For our tent. Get trade. Rates. Yes, we want the trade rates. We'll see what all that is when we check out. The salvage yard. We get a tow truck in the game. So we can choose between. We can get both tow. We get either tow truck. We get the tow truck beater. Or we can get the new tow truck. So the tow truck beater. It's like both trucks are the same. But the tow truck beater. It's like the one from story mode. Oh, it looks all rusty. Or you can get the new one where it looks clean. We can get a wall safe. Where we can see our monies inside the safe. And we can get staff.
So I'm going to pull this back up here. And we're going to get the upgrades and all. We're going to purchase all this. So we're going to redo our customization because we kind of got bumped out of it, but that is okay. So we're going to go ahead and buy our junkyard. We're going to buy it over there by the arena. We're buying the most expensive one. We're going big and going home. So we just bought our new property in the game. And it set us back $5.5 million. Now, if you are on New Gen GTA, Expand It and Enhance. If you're on New Gen GTA, Expand It and Enhance on the New Gen platforms. You will notice, you will notice that you have this thing called the Career Builder. You will notice that you will have the Career Builder. Um... Uh, and as you do missions and stuff inside the career builder, you will unlock different things. So for example, these are different items that you can get inside the career. There's even a new things that you can unlock as far as the junkyard complete the salvage yard robbery meet with so yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff and as you complete these for your salvage yard you can get unlock these items um, but keep in mind keep in mind guys this is for Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5 Grand Theft Auto Expand and Enhance. We are getting the new clothing inside the game. So now let's check out other new properties and the new cars. Let's see what new properties that we have in this game. So no new properties as far as houses and all. There's no new properties. Let's dive right on into the cars. Then we're going to go check out the salvage yard, guys. So let's see. Anything on Benny's? Anything on Benny's? Let's see. Alright, there's nothing new on Benny's Motorsport. No, let's see Legendary now. Let's go straight to Legendary. We're saving more stock for last. Okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby, not too bad. Let's go to Southern San Andreas. Then we're going to hit it with more stock. We got some new vehicles. We got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six new vehicles on Southern San Andreas. And this vehicle right here, it would normally cost $1,460,000. $65,000, but because you have GTA Plus, you can get it for free. Now let's go straight into Warstock. This is what I've been saving last because I've been hearing a lot about this 
through the grapevines online, and it's true. You can now buy cop cars inside the game, and you can store these in your garage. These are locked. You do have to do things to unlock them. Depends on which cop car you want to get. I think this one here that we're looking at right now, you do have to do it'll at least... You would have to get a three-star wanted level, which is very easy in this game, and, and survive it for five minutes. Depending on which cop car you are going to want, you're going to have to do certain things in the game. To get it. And it's also a discounted price on this new helicopter that they put in the game. They're in the last DLC. Hey, so we got a lot of things here. There are, but I'm not going to be able to cover them all in this video. I'm not going to be able to cover them all in this video. But what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to that salvage yard with my crew here. And we're going to check it out. We're going to get right up in it. But before we do, before we do, we're going to check out the LS Car Meet. Because there is a new feature inside the LS Car Meet. This is why we stuck around the LS Car Meet, guys. This is why we stuck around. So when we go into the Ellis car meet, we go into the Ellis car meet now. We have a new is not in here yet, but pretty soon. It's not here for all cars, but for certain cars in the game, there's a new option you can put in your cars, but it's not this one that I have out right now. We'll have to dive into that and figure out what cars have it or not. We'll have to figure all that out. Out, But there's a new option, but you can only get it at the Ellis Car Meet for certain cars. cars. It's called Drift. It's called Drift. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be on some of the new DLC cars for sure. Because they wouldn't put that option in the game if there wasn't no... Uh, if there wasn't no... Um, no, uh, no option for it. So we're going to make our way over to our junkyard, which is right over here. We chose the most expensive one in the game, which is right here in the city. And it's right by the arena. Actually, you can pretty much see the arena from it. So I went with the new and upgraded tow truck. But here goes our salvage yard. Right here.
This is the new building location, so we're about to check everything out firsthand in this video for y'all. And I will be posting more videos explaining how to do things, things uh, in the new DLC tutorials. I'll be posting that and glitches. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification. The content is gonna be getting for real. I'm not gonna be allowing y'all hear the audio of this cutscene that I'm in right now because. I do not want to get copyright strike by a rock star for allowing the voiceover from their characters being inside my video.
So here is our new salvage yard in the game. We had the new tow truck. Uh, we have our computer over here. Which we do all our planning at. So there will be apparently set up step we're going to have to do as we go and steal these cars. So they're kind of like missions. And as you steal the cars you can get stuff. You can decide to keep the car. You can decide to sell the car or salvage the car. We got our personal quarters here. At least I think this is our personal quarters. Sure does look like a personal quarters. So it looks like another place that we can uh, probably spawn in at if we want to set this place as a spawning location. And and but this is all new and we do got a new type of vending machine it's called the quick fix yes sir it's called the quick fix so this is something new that rockstar has introduced to the game But there is a whole bunch of new stuff to be seen. But I'll be doing more videos on this in the future. And I'll be posting more glitches now that the new DLC is out. If y'all did find this video helpful and great, go ahead and do me a favor. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. And... Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, and I will catch you guys in the next video. And enjoy the GTA New Online DLC for the 2023 Winter DLC. Leave your comments below on what you think of the new DLC. What could be better? What could be worse? Let me know, and we'll catch you inside the next one.